Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights Over Argon. In this Hero Pack Focus, we are looking at the cards from the latest Marvel Champions Hero Pack, and it is Venom. So, let's get started. So, uh, we got the new Hero Pack Venom, and it is not the Venom I was uh, waiting for, uh, but it is Venom plus Thompson, so this is the uh, Agent Venom, so to speak, so uh, let's look at Flash Thompson side first. So Flash Thompson has a uh, 4 recovery and the Soldier trait. You can control one additional upgrade that has the restricted keyword. Arm and ready. Set up discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard a weapon upgrade. Then add that card to your hand. And Blast Thompson has a hand size of 6 and 12 hit points. And on the hero side, we have Venom. Uh, Venom has 1 thwart, 2 attack, and 2 defense. Guardian and Space Knight traits. Uh, you can control one additional upgrade that has the restricted keyword Symbio uh, Symbiotic Bond Resource, take one damage, generate a wild resource, limit once per phase and the hand size is 5 and 12 hit points So, uh, how you play Venom is to play a lot of uh, restricted keyworded upgrades so weapons, so you play a lot of guns and utilize those and that is the gimmick of Venom. But let's continue to the cards. So first we have behind the enemy lines. It's a two cost event with the thwart trait. Hero action thwart, remove three threat from a scheme. If you paid for this card using only mental resources, confuse an enemy. And it can be committed as a mental resource. And there are two copies of this in the deck. So, a pretty straightforward um, sword event, but with a little um, addition of if you commit only the mental resources, you get to confuse an enemy. So this can be either a minion or the villain. So, pretty standard. And then we have the defense version. So, Craspin Tendrils. It's a two cost event. Defense traded, hero interrupt defense. When the villain initiates an attack against you, cancel that attack. If you paid for this card, use only uh, physical resources, stun the villain. And it can be committed as a physical resource. There are two copies of this. So, same as the behind the enemy lines, but for defense. Uh, next we have locked and loaded. It's a zero cost event action. Search your deck for a weapon upgrade and add it to your hand. Shuffle your deck. And it can be committed as a mental resource. So as um, Venom utilizes the weapon upgrades that are the restricted upgrades, uh, you can Search your deck for a weapon you need at that moment and add it to your hand. So this is just for uh, getting the right weapon out when you need it. There is only one copy of this. Then we have Run and Gun. So Run and Gun is a 3 cost event. It's a skill traded event. Hero action, ready venom and each weapon upgrade you control and can be committed as, a physical, uh, as an energy resource and there are mm, three copies of this so most of the uh, weapon upgrades exhaust after you use them so this allows you to make a really big turn when you have three weapons out you are using all of them using venom to either port or attack and then play run and gun and do it all over again so you can get the really big turns with these cards And then we have a Savage Attack, it's a 2 cost event, 
Uh, it's a hero action. Uh, it's attack traded, hero action attack, deal 5 damage, using, uh, damage to an enemy. If you paid for this card using only energy resources, this attack gains overkill. So the same uh, function with, uh, as with the defense and the uh, thwart events. Uh, if you commit only specific resources, you gain a bonus to the event. And this can be committed as a physical resource. There are two copies of this. Next we have the first and I think the only support from the Venom uh, signature cards is the Project Rebirth 2.0. It's a one cost support, alter ego action, exhaust project, revert 2.0. Choose to either draw a one card or heal three damage from Blast Thompson. And it can be committed as a physical resource. So with this you can uh, boost the healing of Venom in alter ego. Or uh, you can draw cards if you don't need the healing. So pretty good support card you probably want to have in, have in play. Then uh, we have the Multigun. Multigun is a 3 cost upgrade. It's a tech and weapon traded upgrade. Restricted. Hero action. Exhaust Multigun. Choose one of the following. Uh, deal 2 damage to an enemy. Choose a player. Deal 1 damage to each minion engaged with that player. Or remove 2 threat from a scheme. And it can be committed as a wild resource. So pretty versatile upgrade and I bet you want to get this into play as fast as possible so you have a lot of options uh, when using this. There is only one copy. Then uh, we have Spider Sense. Uh, this is a two cost upgrade. It's a superpower traded upgrade. Hero interrupt when the villain initiates an attack against you, draw one card and it can be committed as a mental resource. So the same ability as with the Spider-Man hero. Uh, so you can draw cards when you get attacked by the villain. So pretty uh, str uh, strong card to have in play. So when the villain attacks you get more cards into your hand and can make a bigger turn on your next hero phase. Then uh, we have two copies of uh, Venom's Pistol. So Venom's Pistol, uh, it's a one cost upgrade, tech, weapon traded, restricted, max two restricted cards per player. Uh, hero interrupt when you use one of Venom's basic powers, exhaust Venom Pistol, Venom gets plus one to that power for this use. And it can be committed as a uh, energy resource. So if you have both of these in play and you are doing a basic attack or basic work, you get plus two when you exhaust both of them. Or if you have one of them in play, plus one. Uh, of course, these are pretty powerful when combined with the uh, card that lets you ready your uh, restricted weapon cards and venom. So pretty good synergy there. And those were all the Venom uh, signature cards. And Venom comes with the pre-built Justice deck. So let's look at the Justice cards next. First, uh, we have the Ally, Jack Flag. Jack Flag is a 4 cost ally with 2 Tward and 1 attack. Guardian traded and 3 hit points. Response after Jack Flag Words, place one ammo counter on him. Hero action, exhaust jack flag and remove one ammo counter from him. Deal two damage to an enemy. And jack flag can be committed as a energy resource. So uh, you basically want to thwart with jack and when you get those ammo counters, start dealing damage with him. So maybe not just jump block with this guy because he's expensive and pretty good. With two parts. Then we have a scare tactic, and we have a full set of three of these. Uh, scare tactics is a one cost event, 
It's an attack traded event, hero action attack, deal 3 damage to a confused enemy, and it can be committed as a mental resource. So by itself this card doesn't do anything, but if you get uh, the confused trait or uh, the confused status card on a villain or an enemy, then you can deal 3 damage and this is a real cheap uh, attack event for dealing damage, but it has the condition of you have to have the confuse status card in play so the, uh, without that this doesn't do anything so uh, we'll see how this works in uh, Venom because Venom has good ways to confuse enemies uh, next we have making an entrance I love the art here by the way this is really really cool art uh, making an entrance is a one cost event. It's skill traded. Hero interrupt. When your hero makes a basic ward, it gets plus two ward. So that ward, after the ward ends, if your hero removed all threat from a scheme, that way you'll two damage from your hero. So, this is pretty powerful if you boost your ward up with other means and then play this you can remove a lot of threat and also heal some damage while you're at it and this can be committed as a physical resource and there are of course three copies uh, then this uh, pre-built deck has two power of justices i won't go into detail of those because they are reprints then uh, we have another tech upgrade it's a sonic rifle it's a three cost upgrade, tech, weapon traded, restricted, uses two charge counters, hero action, exhaust, sonic rifle, and remove one charge counter from it. Confuse an enemy, deal three damage to that enemy instead if it's already confused. This can be committed as a mental resource. So, again, another way to confuse the enemy so you can combo other cars that utilize it. And there are three copies of it in the deck. And those were all the justice cards. Next, let's, uh, let's look at the um, basic cards that come in the pre-built deck. So first off, we have the Star Lord Ally version. Uh, Star Lord has uh, cost two, has two toward two attack, the guardian trait, and three hit points. Uh, Star uh, Star Lord's attack gains range. So you can ignore uh, retaliate, which is really good in some scenarios. Force response. After Star Lord enters play under your control, deal yourself one face down and counterpart. And uh, Star Lord can be committed as a mental resource. So again, uh, mirroring the hero version of Star Lord that gets a lot of counterparts. So uh, this is a really cheap and good ally but you have to take a face down in counter card when you play so it's a gamble to play star lord but i i like this card i hope it uh, serves me well then we have a reprint of all of the basic uh, resource cards and then we have a reprint of resourceful so three copies of that in the pre-built deck then we have a new upgrade, which is the side holster. It's a zero cost upgrade. It's an item created upgrade. Play under any player's control, max one per player. You can control one additional weapon upgrade that has the restricted keyword and it can be committed as a physical resource. And there are of course uh, three copies of it. So uh, with this in play, Venom can have uh, up to four uh, restricted upgrades in play, which is really powerful. Next, uh, we have another uh, restricted upgrade, which is the Plasma Pistol. Uh, plasma Pistol is a two cost upgrade with the tech and weapon traits restricted, max two restricted cards per player. Uses three charge counters, hero action, exhaust plasma pistol, and remove one charge counter from it. 
deal one damage to an enemy and it can be committed as a energy resource and there are three copies of this also so really uh, leaning in the uh, weapon cards in the venom pre-built so those were all the cards that come in the pre-built deck and then we have something different uh, in the nemesis and obligation section for venom compared to many of the other heroes so let's look at the obligation first so uh, struggle, uh, struggle for control give to the flash thompson player you may flip to alter ego form choose exhaust flash thompson and take two damage this card is obligation or put one set aside copy of enraged symbiote in play engage with the first player if you cannot this card can search this card is obligation and it ha it has two boost icons so the interesting thing is this is the second uh, obligation that can't be uh, removed from the game uh, the first one was in Hulk and uh, this is the second if I remember correctly so either way you can't remove this it gets discarded so you will see this again and again and uh, we'll get to the enraged symbiotes a moment but uh, if you cannot put those into play it means that you might have gotten all of them into play from out of play area or set aside area or you have uh, drawn shadows of the past and they are all uh, in the encounter deck already so you have to search this card in that case okay well then let's get into the Nemesis set. So, first we have Cluntar Frenzy. It's a side scheme. Uh, treat, uh, threat cannot be removed from this scheme while Symbiote enemy is in play. And it, this gives an additional encounter card each turn. And it ha comes into play with two uh, threats per player and it has three boost icons, so uh, pretty easy to remove if you don't have any symbiotes in play, but the rest of the Nemesis set is four symbiote, uh, enraged symbiotes. So enraged symbiote is a minion with one scheme and two attack. It has only two health, but there are four of them, <laughs> and it has this uh, guard and patrol keywords and patrol is a newer keyword that ca came in the guardians uh, deluxe or the guardians campaign box uh, for the first time so while this minion is engaged with you you cannot afford the main scheme and this is venom's uh, nemesis minion and it also has a boost ability uh, so boost put in red symbiote uh, into play engage with you so if you draw this as a boost card you'll get this enemy into play and uh, talking a bit more about the um, shadows of the past so if you pull shadows of the past and these all are set aside you have to put all of them into play so not just one but all of them so <laughs> you might end up having a lot of uh, these symbiotes in play in a moment, like a second, and then you just have to deal with them, which can cause some serious headache when playing Venom. But uh, we'll see how this functions if I draw it first game. So that was the Nemesis set, and lastly, we'll look at the new other aspect parts that come in this hero pack. So the aggression card is fuselage. It's a two cost event. Attack traded, hero action attack, exhaust a weapon upgrade you control, deal five damage to an enemy, and this can be committed as a mental resource. So uh, if you are not needing to confuse anything, for example with the card, or you have a weapon upgrade that deals only one damage or something like that should play this if you're playing aggression with the cards 
so really powerful and only two cost but of course there are other cards that deal the same amount of damage with similar uh, price tag so not that sure about this card but I'll have to see it in play to really know if it's good or not and of course it's a full set of three. Next uh, we have the leadership card which is welcome aboard, it's a zero cost event, play only if your identity has the guardian trait, max one per round. Hero action, reduce the resource cost of the next ally played this phase by two and it can be committed as a energy resource. So important to note don't have to be the player who is playing the ally, you just call for an action, play this, and other players on the, in the table can cheapen their allies. But it's only one per round, so uh, you can't combo all of them at the same round, so that is a bit a hindrance for this card, but still, I think this is a solid leader's card. Next we have the protection card, shake it off, it's a one cost event, uh, it has the skill trait, hero response, after a guardian character takes any amount of damage from an attack, give that character buff status card and this can be committed as a physical resource. So I'm really liking this card because it um, makes the guardian uh, or the protection player uh, more protective, so you can uh, defend for other players and get the tough status card. And if you have a way to ready your hero, you can do it again and you have the tough, so you're not taking that much damage. So I'm really liking this uh, protection card that came in this pack. Lastly, we have crew quarters, which is the basic card that is outside of the rebuilt deck. So crew quarters is a one cost support, location traded, play under any player's control, max one per player, alter ego action, exhaust crew quarters, heal one damage from an alter ego. And this can be committed as a mental resource. So again, uh, if you're in alter ego, you can heal other players in alter ego also. It doesn't have to be your uh, identities alter ego so I think this is also an interesting card which I will be trying out whenever I get to play uh, two-handed or multiplayer but I think not that interesting in true solo so those were all the new cards in the Venom deck and the new cards for the other aspects. So I'm pretty excited to get Venom into play. I will be sleeving up this uh, pre-built deck as soon as I stop recording this and trying it out against the villain, which I haven't still uh, determined which villain I will be playing against, but uh, we'll see. Uh, hope you guys like this Hero Pack Focus, thanks for watching and until next time.